In this section, I want to talk about private ASS, and I'm going to show you how we can work with private ASS in our enterprise. I have changed my topology a little bit. You can see that AS4 is Internet. Actually, this is going to be our border to Internet. The rest of the network is my enterprise. You can see that I have AS11 here. I have both this AS number 11 here. I have AS2 here. And I have two ASs that are using private AS numbers. Private AS numbers start from 64,512 and end to 65,536. So if you want to use an AS number that is not going to be routable in Internet, you can use these AS numbers. And of course, when you are sending updates to Internet, you should be sure that you are removing these ASs from your AS path. So I'm going to show you what Router1 needs to do to remove these AS. And that's going to be using uh, remove private AS. Uh, remove private AS attribute on itself when sending updates to router 4 and I'm going to show you two different scenarios in one scenario I have private AS's between two public AS's you can see that AS2 and AS11 are public numbers but AS 65,023 and 65,032 are private AS's and in this case uh, what happens is the AS's are not going to be removed and finally, I'm going to change AS2 to 65002, and I will show you what happens in that case. So let's go for the configuration. I have removed all BGP configuration from my routers. So let's just start configuring from the beginning. On router 1, let's see, uh, show run, I want to see if I have VGP configuration. You can see that I'm using show run a lot, but this is not a good practice. You should be careful about that. Because just by showing the running config, you, you, you cannot understand everything and every effect that configuration has on your system. You should go for verification commands. And I use verification commands in Ample, and I want to show you how you can do this. Okay, let's go for the configuration. Right now, there is no BGP process here. So I use rather BGP11, and rather BGP11, I'm going to have a neighbor 14114 that is in remote AS4. Yes, uh, and I have two other neighbors, uh, 101122, it is going to be a remote AS65023, yes, and of course, neighbor 101133, that's going to be a remote AS. Yes, 65,023. That's it. This is the configuration on router 1. Let's go to router 2. On router 2, I have router BGP 65,023. And I have a neighbor 10.1.12.1 that is in remote AS11. And of course, I have a neighbor 10.1.23.3 that is in remote AS 65,023. Also, let's see the list of interfaces in brief. I have another neighbor, and this neighbor is 201.22.254. That's going to be in remote AS 65,032. That's it. This is configuration of router 2. Let's go to router 3. On router 3, I have router BGP 65,023. I have neighbor 10.1. 13, 1, that is in remote AS 11. I have neighbor 10, 1, 23, 2, that is in remote AS 65,023. And also, let me see the list of interfaces to figure out the next neighbor. Neighbor 201, 33, 254 is remote AS uh, 65,032. This is the neighborship and the configuration on router 3. You can see the process is working just fine and the neighborship is uh, coming up. Let's go to right 2. I have, let's have a list of interfaces in brief. Okay, I have a neighbor 1, let's router BGP 65032 
I have neighbor 201 22 254 that's in remote AS. Uh, no, that's going to be 65,023. That's going to be 2. Okay, this is one of my neighbors, and I have neighbor 172, 16, 12, 1. That's in remote AS 2 right now. Also, I have neighbor 10, 132, 3 in remote AS 65,032. This is the neighborship on router 2. Let's go to I2, of course, uh, to I3. I have router BGP 65,032. And I need a list of interfaces on my system. So I have a neighbor uh, 10, 132, 2, that is in remote is 65,032. I have 172, 16, 13, 1, that is in remote is 2. And also I have uh, 200, 133, 3, in remote is 65,033. So this is the neighborship for here. Now, you can see that my configuration is done. If I check my BGP table, I can see updates. If I go to router 1 and check my BGP table, I can see updates. You can see some of the routes are originated in AS2. They go through 65,032, they go through 65,023, and Finally, I see them. Let's go to router 4. Router 4 is in ISP. Uh, so it's going to show IP BGP. And now you can see that I receive updates that, they or, that are originated from AS2. They go through 65,032. They go through 65,023. And then 11. And finally, I receive them. Okay, I am in Internet. I am not supposed to see these two ASs. These are private numbers. They should be removed from the updates that I received. So what router one needs to do is to add a line of configuration to router four's neighborship. So neighbor, let me clear the screen so that you can see this command better. For neighbor 14114, what I'm going to do is removing the private ASS from my updates and then send the updates to router 4. Okay, let's clear IPBGP anything softly. And now if I go to router 4 and check my updates again, here we go. We still see these uh, private ASS. Why router 1 didn't remove this? That's because these are in between public AS numbers. If they are removed, there is a danger of having a loop in my network. So, router 1 is not going to remove. It sees that the origin is a public IP, a public AS number. So, it is not going to remove any private AS numbers from the path. So, what I need to do is to change the configuration and make sure that this is not a public AS number. If this is a public AS number, so I need to have something like AS11 on the other side so that it removes every private AS number in between. So, so this is not a good idea. I assume that my enterprise is a very big enterprise and it consists of multiple ASs and all of them have private AS numbers. Or at least I have one AS here and that contains a uh, that has a private AS number, and I'm removing those private AS numbers from the update that I sent to AS4. Actually, you should consider this like a stop area in OSPF. Everything here should be the end of your network. It should not have connection to multiple network. It should not be used as a transit network. So what I need to do is to go to AS2, and I, because I know that this is part of my enterprise and it is not going to uh, it is not going to have anything in in internet about the public it, it doesn't have a connection 
directly to the internet, I'm going to change the AS number. So I go to AS2, uh, let's go to I1, and I'm going to change the configuration. Let's see the original configuration. And change the configuration here. Okay, this is the original configuration. I'm going to remove this. And because I'm going to remove this, I need to see these original configuration. Okay, I type no rudder BGP2. Instead, I'm going to have rudder BGP65002. Okay, everything is the same as previous. So I'm going to copy every line and paste them here. Now, there's a problem in AS number, and that's going to be, uh, there are going to be complaints from I2 and I3. I'm going to change this. So, instead of remote AS2, here I need to change them to 65,002 on I2 and I3. So, this is going to be 65,002, like this. And after some time, I should see the new neighborship here. Let's wait for that. And see the result. Here we go. This is the neighborship, and everything is working just fine. Now let's go to router 1 and check my BGP table again. Show IP BGP. Now I need to wait for the new updates to come. Wait for some time. And I guess I need to clear BGP process on router 2 and router 3 as well. So let's do this and then go to router 1 and do this. And check the updates after some time and see what we have here. Let's go to router 2 and see BGP updates. Now I'm receiving updates here and and a rather one do I receive the updates? Yes. Now I'm receiving the updates here. We can see that all of the uh, routes are originated in an AS that has a private AS number. Now that we have removed private AS on rather one, let's go to rather four and see the result here. If I Show IPBGP, I see no private AS number in the AS, uh, AS path here. So this is uh, how we do and how we use remove private AS and why we do. And this is a very complete and nice example for you, my friends.